Welcome to the Affiliate Guy Daily, your daily source for affiliate marketing news, tips, and strategies to take your online business to the next level. Let's dive right in. Hey, it's Matt McWilliams here, and today I'm going to answer a question I got, and I, I might butcher this name, I'm so sorry, from Michaela Chichinsky. And I'm hoping I got that right, Chichinsky there. Uh, did my best, I believe it's Polish. I looked it up and I didn't really get much guidance on how to pronounce it. But she asked, uh, hey, I'm doing some Facebook ads for an affiliate promotion. Who should I target with the ads? And I'm going to give four possible groups. And I'm, I'm thinking of these kind of in an inverse pyramid, an inverse triangle, with the top being the most broad category and getting more refined as you go, depending upon your budget. So the first possible uh, targeting that you could do on Facebook is to target groups, you know, to target followers of other like-minded people. So let's say you're promoting a course for, I don't know, we'll, we'll go with weight loss. We'll go with weight loss. Well, who would they be following if they were interested in weight loss? What groups would they be in? If they were interested in weight loss, this is especially in you know something like weight loss. This is the big universe. You know, this could be hundreds of thousands, or hundreds of millions of people. So again, this is that top of the inverse triangle. You know, this could be huge, but you can definitely target based on groups in the online marketing world. If you're coming out with a product, say, you know, how to make money in affiliate marketing. <laughs> Not that I would know anything about that. No product, no problem. Dot com forward slash enroll. No, I'm, I'm joking. No, I'm not. Go buy my product. Um, of course, it's amazing. It's like the best course out there for affiliate marketing by far. Like, who would I target? Well, I would target followers of Pat Flynn. I would target followers of John Lee Dumas. I would follow target, you know, target followers of, of Jeff Goins. I would target groups that are in, you know, affiliate marketing and that type of stuff. New bloggers, new podcasters. Those are the type of people I would target and type of people I do target in Facebook. Number two. Your list. This is again a broad list. People who follow you, and you're going to target them promoting affiliate offers. And I'm going to kind of go from there and pretend like we're going to, I'm going to talk to two different groups of people. You've got a couple, say, five thousand plus sub subscribers and less than a thousand. If you're somewhere in the middle, you can kind of combine these. If you've got more than five thousand, you should be able to effectively target your entire list with Facebook ads and do pretty well. If you've got a smaller list, it gets harder simply because, you know, man, there's just not that many people to target. Either way, you want to target your list. I definitely believe that every time you should be targeting your list, unless you're doing Facebook ads for something that's kind of like off to the side of what you talk about. For instance, using that weight loss you know, thing as an example. If you talk, if, if you're promoting, you know, your audience is primarily interested in productivity, you have a, you know, 5,000 people on your list about productivity, I guarantee you there's two, 300 of them interested in weight loss. But do you really want to target them on Facebook? You know, all 5,000 just to get to those two to 300? Probably not. So as we go down that inverse triangle, the next thing people that you can target is when, well, this would actually be, okay, we're going to, we're going to mix things up. We're going to go to the end of the triangle. When you're doing, when you're promoting the sales portion of the program, you know, in a launch sequence, for example, target opt-ins, target segments of your list that you know are interested in that subject matter. So you might target opt-ins, you know, people who opted into the free training and then target them to sell the product to them. Or you might target, say, Let's say somebody, you know, you've segmented them as interested in weight loss because they've clicked on your weight loss posts. You would target them. And then moving up, because it's technically a bigger group, but it is a, in a sense, it's a more refined group because you're just getting really specific. Um, but it would be bigger, it would produce a greater number of people. Take that opt in list or potentially even that segment list, but I would probably stick with the opt in list and uh, create a lookalike audience on Facebook. So here's how that works. Let's just say, I think you need 100 people to make this work. You know, five years from when I record this, that number might be different. Who knows if Facebook will even be around? We, we literally don't know. But for right now, I believe it's 100. 
what you would do, let's say you have 100 opt-ins or more. If you can get to 100, you take that list, you upload it to Facebook, and you create a lookalike audience. And it's basically, you know, what the lookalike audience does in a simplistic version is it scours the internet and says, or scours Facebook and says, okay, who look like, what are the common components to these 100 people. It could be 400, whatever. It just needs, I think it needs to be at least 100. What are the common components to these people? You know, and so there might be something that you didn't even know about your audience. Like they all are single moms. That would be a weird thing not to know. I don't know. So that's a bad example. Um, all of their husbands work in the banking and finance industry. All of their wives um, had children before they got married. I don't know. You know, these are like weird things that you might not know about your audience or this specific segment. But when you create that lookalike audience, Facebook is doing the work for you. So now you take those hundred people and you could turn them into, I don't know, could be 5,000 people, could be a hundred thousand people, whatever. But they're going to have those similar qualities. You know, the groups that they're following that you don't know about, the people that they're following that you don't know about the likes that they have, you know, maybe 97 of those 102 people are Jimmy Buffett fans. Okay. Well, we've discovered that Jimmy Buffett fans between the ages of 30 and 44 who are married and live in the Southwest United States are perfect candidates for, you know, this product that you're promoting. I don't know. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Anyway, so groups, your list, your opt-in list, and look, create a lookalike list of those opt-ins. Uh, when I said opt-ins this time, I also meant segments. So those are four ways to target on Facebook when you're doing ads for an affiliate campaign. Michaela and you, I hope that helps. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for listening. Be sure to join us daily for more tips, updates, and inspiration. You can also join us and watch our deep dives into affiliate marketing strategies at theaffiliateguide.tv. And check all of our free resources at mattmcwilliams.com. See you next episode.